Hi, I'm Pest. I've been Radiant for eight acts now, and in this video, I coach a gold player who struggles with composure and consistency. If coaching something you're interested in, make sure to leave a comment on why you deserve it most, and I'll pick one lucky winner for a free coaching session on Medify. If waiting isn't your thing, you can book a session as soon as tomorrow. Use code PEST-YT for an additional 10% off. Link is in the description. Let's get into the video. I got a pretty strong CT setup here. If I had to guess, the chamber is playing A. They probably have the kill JB. Probably get a knife A main right off the bat. Omen, probably smoke B main. I'm clapping right now. I don't think you can hear it but i'm clapping so right off the bat you can tell how impressed i am with his ability to read the map before the game even starts this is something i preach time and time again if you want to get to a high level you have to think at a high level understanding basic tendencies of agents finding where they play and formulating a plan off that information is the only way to consistently win on offense otherwise you're just blind running into sites and hoping for the best i like that knife a lot beautiful wow that guy's actually there Omen's on site too. The first off has a great knife hitting almost all of sight. He didn't clear the corner, which could have been better, but it was a save, so we'll let it slide. Mainly, I want you to notice how he calms even when he's dead. A lot of players think their job is done once they die. This is wildly incorrect. Giving simple comms to your teammates in the heat of battle can take a lot of pressure off and keep everyone on the same page. One sands. Nice. nice, sight dead. Like that. In this situation where his team had full sight control, I recommend planting in the best spot possible for post plant and setting your teammates for the late round. Planting for aim main in this situation would have definitely been the better play, and you'll see a round later in the game where this comes up huge. Swing off me, swing off me. The idea this round was amazing, however the positioning could have been much better. If the Jad had swung wide and cleared him, there would have been very little time for Sky to come out and trade. If he had backed up into A main and taken a safer angle, there would have been much less room for error and there would have been a more guaranteed round. Yeah, yeah smoke and all, yes, yeah, smoke and all alt in. Nice. I have sight. I did not clear it. That was a bad knife. Oh, good, oh, good. Let's try and play time here. Yeah, good calm. You have a flash to go out of that too. Play time, play time. Yeah. I have two flashes and mollies, like, Beautiful. we're chilling here. Comms this round were absolutely amazing, giving his team a plan on how to take the site, coordinating util, and reminding his teammates to play back in the post plant and play off util. These might seem like rudimentary things to have to remind your team about, but sometimes all it takes is a little reminder for people to realize what they're doing and make the right play. You want me to pop flash through this? That's a money Shuts idea. up and tell. Oh fuck. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, I like this cancel. Oh, yeah, Omen's worked up A. Let's go A. Oh god, I love that. Yep. Let's just go fast. Yeah, yeah, just go fast. Just smoke CT. Yeah, I can flash this over if we have to. Yes, sir. Yeah, careful behind the box. Clear. I'm blind. So many good things this round. Once again, giving his team direction on how to play the round, recognizing Omen had a good lurk, and reminding his team to check common corners that the enemies have played in. This is well above gold cons. I'm certain once he gets his mechanics to a higher level, he'll have zero issue reaching that higher elo. I'm just worried about the retake right now, as they, they might try and give us sight and then just yeah. KO alt, KJ alt. Yeah. So if we if we get into a post plant, we have to play aggressive. He really just kept impressing me with stuff like this. Not only understanding that they have two of the best retake ults in the game, but also knowing how to counter it and relaying that information to his team. This is all really good and the only way to stay one step ahead in this game. All right, so let's explode out. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Here. We got to play aggressive, otherwise they might uh, just play full retake. Yeah, they're playing retake. I'm playing aggressive. Yeah, I like this. One plank oh, I thought in. that was money. I thought he was getting two more. Yeah, one drop. Good try, good oh. try. I love the idea to get aggressive here. As you saw, I was physically excited when he went to pop flash CT. Unfortunately, no one was there, but I like to make that exact same play one to two times a game, catching the enemies off guard with nowhere to hide. I would have liked to see him reposition after not seeing anything off the flash, but overall, really good ideas. Amber wins these. Yeah, I mean, it is planted for him. He definitely... Yeah, he's already won it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need to... Nice! Yes. This is the round I was talking about earlier. With Chamber being 1 HP, this would have been an impossible round to win with the bomb planted default. But with a little luck, he pulled out the round to continue their momentum. Nice pick. We just explode off of that, I think. I 
Can you put smokes? You're actually just better. <laughs> yeah, we didn't clear tower. Alright, that old tower's going now. This is a great call by him to explode off the pick with such advanced positioning all around. Also, calling for smokes before they hit and making sure that everything was fully clear before planting. Real quick, if this video helped you, consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button to never miss a video. We're doing weekly uploads just like this, you won't want to miss. Alright, back to the video. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not throwing. Okay. Can you smoke it? Yeah, I smoke yeah. it, double hold it. Beautiful. Yeah, it's time to hold it with you. Oh, what the fuck? He's going for... Great job. This is another thing that low elo players really struggle with. In situations like this, after one to two people scam, they continue to peek instead of securing the round. Think about all the games you've lost by one or two rounds and how many of those games could have been won by just securing that one dagger round. It's probably more than you think. That's in tower. That's not peek us without smokes. Uh, can we get a smoke canteen here, Jen? This is like better than my Radiant fucking games, dude. Bit of a waste of a nade, but I didn't realize who's gonna uh, smoke that. In general, I'd always rather see you use your util and have it be slightly overkill than die without using it at all. Util is relatively cheap and always worth the extra money to secure the round. Oh, shit. One power? Oh, don't peek, you meathead. Yeah, this element is just swinging. Holy. Oh, God. This round really hurt me to watch. All three players wildly overpeak, throwing an anti eco and making them lose the next round as well. Even when rounds seem unlosable, it's always a good idea to play with your team and secure the round. Nothing, I mean. A good thing to note here is the use of his rechargeable ability at the beginning of the round for info. Any rechargeable ability should be used at the beginning of the round to start working towards it again once they take sight. Also, getting that early info is crucial to be ahead of rotations on defense. Base. They broke my knife arcade. Where? These guys are so confusing. 30, 30 seconds left. left. That was a really good nade, actually. Two things this round. First, I'd like to see him hold a closer angle so he can get out and isn't trapped in the open. Second, since there was a chamber trip on main, he could have played a slightly more passive angle with his molly. Unlucky. No shot I get detained by that. Unlucky. Oh, nice. Worth. Nice, I love that counter. Love that counter. Fucking idiot. A couple things this round as well. First, I love waiting to throw that molly until the very last second, ensuring that extra chip damage. Second, I love the insta pop of the ultimate once he heard chamber pop his, making him essentially useless in the post plant. Lastly, I would have liked to see him throw an underhand flash at the end, making it a deadly pop flash and almost a free round win. Oh my god, I love that you backed up after getting your one. What an absolute incredible play. Yeah, he's dropped for sure. Drop him on left. Nice drop should be, unless he canceled. Yep. Yeah, drop. No. Backing up after getting one was absolutely beautiful. However, I would have liked to see him use his flash off the sound of Omen dropping to really secure that round. Not the worst thing in the world, but it's always good to be aware of what util you have and fully utilize it. Yeah, let's just play full retake B. Every time they've had KJ ult, they just ult there and we can't counter it. Stream, I want you to understand this is a gold one saying this thing's... If you're any higher than him and don't recognize patterns like that, 
you don't deserve your fucking rank. Once again, understanding patterns of the enemies and relaying that information to his team on how to counter it. I can't stress enough how being that guy and keeping all of your teammates on the same page is crucial to ranking up in Valorant. I have no doubts this player will be diamond in no time. Yeah, another kill. Jay has ult again. This isn't good. That's okay. This, actually, what do we have? Oh my god. You should run. Uh, hop it. Oh my god, hop it, stick it. Oh my god, we, we just won. That's the balls. Big balls. Oh my, oh god. my god, there's no way! Let's go! Oh. I appreciate you watching until the end. Once again, if this video helped you at all, don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to drop a comment telling me why you deserve a coaching session. I'll be picking the winner in a couple days. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!